Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Going to do your weekend love reading. See what messages come up for you. If you are new, uh, please do click that like, share, and subscribe button. Um, if you've been here for a while, welcome. Glad to see you guys are still tuning in. Awesome, awesome. Do keep in mind that the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits, leave the rest. And of course, as always, personal reading link is below the video in the description box. All right, Virgo, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Hello, everybody in the chat. Hope you guys have a great weekend ahead. All right, let's take a look and see what the messages are playing out here. Let's start with Friday. What are Friday's messages? So you're starting with photograph. Okay, someone's looking at your photograph or thinking of you. Um, this card is basically looking at your photos, missing you, being nostalgic, wanting to make new memories. So, okay, something to do with a photo or a picture over the weekend. Let's take a look and see <clears throat> what could be showing up here. Maybe you are taking some photos or having some photos done. Okay, um, I just heard crystal clear, crystal clear pictures. Um, let me see. Someone's also trying to get some truth about some photos or a photo of you or they are thinking about you and trying to get clarity. So we do have Gemini, Aquarius, Libra showing up here on Friday. Okay. Hold on, let's get more messages and see. Um, somebody's trying to find out if you are expecting a child. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> you also have a couple of people... Wow, okay, that's a crazy message they just gave me. So Queen of Swords and the Queen of Cups. So there are two people here who are trying to get some information on you, <laughs> Virgo, on Friday. Um, okay, let me see. I feel like you've got two people here trying to pry into your business. Air sign, water sign, energy. Um, you're blocked. You're not showing anything here. You're keeping everything to yourself who are these two people i do not know okay wow i can't even believe it you also have the two of cups and then the queen of wands okay um actually now there are three people fire sign water sign and air sign trying to find out uh, looking for evidence if you are involved with anyone or if you are involved with someone okay Somebody knows about you, Virgo. Um, Virgo, somebody's trying to see if you're connecting. So these could be um, masculines or feminines, but it feels like they're trying to get some truth about you to see if you're involved with maybe their person or with anyone at all. These could be people who have an interest in you as well, looking at your um, photos, trying, I don't know why there, somebody or some people are thinking that you are hiding something, um, but there's, I just feel like there's a lot of suspiciousness around this energy. Um, let me take a look at each one of these signs because I want to see what's going on here more specifically. Show me show virgo the air sign what is the air sign looking for like what what's the question i want to ask is what what's the air sign doing okay so i feel like somebody is maybe spreading some rumor talking about you or something in a work situation yeah somebody might be saying oh they're just friends or saying i believe they they got together what is this nosy nancy being in your business here show me the queen of cups show me the water sign okay and show me the fire sign oh boy okay First of all, if you are single and you don't have anybody in your life at this time, okay, um, I do feel, so I don't know if this is like wherever you might have photos or wherever there is information about you, I kind of get a sense that there are some people who are trying to find out, you know, if you are 
I don't know if you're in a committed relationship, if you're married, if you're if you're down for some just fun, okay? Um, the messages are really convoluted here. I can tell you overall that um, there are some people who are definitely interested in you, more than two. There's three showing up here who are trying to gain some clarity and some truth and some information on you. For some of you, this you have you do have someone that you have a connection with and that person has connections with others and somebody somebody finds out about you okay i don't know if your person puts it out there um that there's a thing going on between the two of you and the others that they have in their periphery um, find out about it and they are trying to dig up some dirt on you or want to find out who this mysterious who you are this mysterious person definitely okay one is like oh it's just a fling or there, there's a lot of question one is like a fire sign is kind of like oh it's just a fling it's just a one night stand um, the water sign is definitely suspicious um, thinks that there's something being hidden and is trying to get to the truth. And an air sign is giving off vibes that, oh, this is somebody that that they work with. I hope that that is making sense. So basically, let me just summarize it on Friday. There are people connected to the one whom you have in your heart, okay? I don't know if they were messing around with them or whatever, Um but something comes out, something comes to light because either it comes to light or there's other people that your person's messing around with who um, are trying to find out about you and who you are. Okay, Knight of Pentacles. Hmm. It looks to me like um, the person that you have the feelings for and, uh, and that person has feelings for you, it feels like they are um, coming in to make some kind of an offer. I don't know if they're ignoring other people. Somebody's, there's some people here trying to see if there's any photos of you with this person or if there's something going on. This is crazy. This is a crazy, when we have a lot of court cards, it, it really gives me a sense that there's a lot of people looking at you, um, trying to get information on you, okay? <laughs> Definitely. And and the person that you have in your heart, okay? And this is if there is someone, you know, in your heart or, in, you know, that you're listening to this reading for, okay? I don't feel like this is for someone who's single and has nobody, okay? There are a lot of people who are checking you out, okay? As far as being single, okay? And I'm going to touch on that. If you are... I don't know if you're on social media or you or maybe you're on a dating site or something. Um, there are people who are interested in you. I can say that. And I do feel like one of them is interested. There's a fire sign who's interested in old, only like a lusty kind of connection. Um, there's a water sign who's just trying to get someone to help them out because they're like <laughs> really struggling. Um, and they're looking for like support really that's it and there's an air sign who is um, looking for a long-term commitment okay so we're gonna leave Friday there because there's a lot of strange messages there with that and I just feel like if you're involved with someone or there is someone that you have a thing with or just a connection with in some way um, and they had other people those other people are trying to find out if you either you two are getting together or if you are still together Okay, so we're going to leave Friday right there. All right, as far as Saturday, you have wedding rings. You have union, wedding, marriage, a soul connection, eternal love, um, everlasting promises. Okay, let's see what's going on here with that. What is going on Saturday? All right. All right. Ten of Pentacles. Knight of Cups. 
Seven of Swords. One more. One more message here for Virgo. You're definitely going to be receiving some kind of a love offer or proposal from someone on Saturday. Yeah. Okay, Virgo. There's definitely a proposal coming in. I can tell you that. An offer for a date, perhaps even it could be marriage, commitment, what have you. And I feel like this is a this is a stable type of an offer. I just saw 1111. This is a um, solid offer. Okay, it's a solid offer. But interestingly enough, the Seven of Swords and the Seven of Wands are here together. Sevens do represent spirituality, inner awareness, wisdom, insight. Okay. I feel like there is somebody here. It could be a Pisces. It's interesting because we have pentacle, water, air, uh, sword, and wand. So these are of the four elements. A fire sign, a water sign, an air sign, and an earth sign. Let me just see if I can give you exactly. Um, all right, so I feel like there's an Aquarius. Another Virgo. Definitely a Pisces. And I'm picking up a Leo. Okay. So there's an offer coming in for sure. It's a solid offer. However, I do feel like this person coming in and making this offer to you on Saturday, um, I don't want to say they're being sneaky about it because I don't really feel like that energy is going on, um, but they are doing something behind the scenes. And that might be why this is playing out here. There's some people here on Friday who are very suspicious. Um, and I think it's because they know that whoever your person is, um, is coming towards you. All right, there's jealousy. I'm feeling there's a little bit of jealousy. Um, they might have been, you know, playing around with other people or messing around with other people. Whoever they were connecting with, other people, you know, if they were dating many other people besides you, there's some type of something coming to them all where they're suspecting um, that your person is coming towards you or is choosing you, which is a very interesting thing. Yeah. Okay. Here's the Ace of Cups. Okay. So it's either a, a wedding proposal or union or long-term uh, committed relationship. So I feel like you're getting some kind of an offer from this person. They're pushing back on others and they're, but they're kind of doing this behind the scenes towards you. Um, as far as making an offer to you. It's like they don't want the other people to know. I feel like this person comes in very private. They don't really put their business out there. Um, and they're not telling any of these other people that they were connecting with because they're not, it, it, it's only on a need to know basis. It's really none of their business. I feel like, I don't really feel like whoever your person is is doing anything wrong. I just feel like then maybe they ghosted them or they're not saying anything to those other people and they're coming towards you, okay, with a new love offer. So, you know, Virgo, I mean, and then if it's not other people that your person was seeing, there is an energy here of um, you're definitely getting a love offer here from someone. Um, and it could be people who are interested in you as well. So there's two separate messages and I do hope that you're able to follow along with what's coming out. Whenever we have, a, like I said, a bunch of court cards showing up in one thing, um, there's definitely an energy of others, okay? A lot of other people. Um, so yeah, Saturday, get ready. There's definitely something coming through here. Now, you do have the Wheel of Fortune and the Five of Swords. Okay, there's going to be, also for some of you, I just heard a change in management. <laughs> there's change in management. I don't know what that means. Maybe at your work, okay? Um, but there's also an energy of somebody cutting others off here and moving forward with you. Others or other people. Now, these could be family members. These could be friends. These could be other potential romantic interests that your person may have had. It looks like change here. All right. Definitely change. 
Let me take a look here and see what Sunday is. So you've got addiction, codependent, obsession. Um, wow, Virgo. Somebody here is really, like, they're very, I guess the word is addicted to you. Definitely. Um, they can't hold back. They have no restraint. Let me see what's going on here. All right, so you've got Aries is showing up here. So you have the Emperor. Okay, somebody's coming in here for sure. Let's see. There's you, Virgo, Queen of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles. You're definitely trying to make some kind of decision here on Sunday. Do you have an obsession or an addiction to someone? Okay, Ten of Swords. Wow, Virgo. All right, Sunday looks very much like trying to manage... A difficult situation here this person okay straight up if you were involved if you had a connection to an emperor or and I did see the empress here um, if you have or have had a connection with someone in the past who represents that emperor energy someone who's um, very authoritarian in a lot of ways is um, like head honcho the boss they have that kind of energy if you had a connection with someone like that in the past that person was juggling for sure um others and wasn't really in a position of making a decision about committing to something perhaps um for some of you this person has had addiction issues or addiction problems could be a father um or mother addiction problems that they have um surrendered to in other words um They've given it up, okay, and are coming more uh, stable, becoming more stable, or have, have gotten their sea legs, so to speak, okay? Um, now, listen, Virgo, <clears throat> this person might have had, they might have been a serial dater. I just want to say that. Um, they not only in the past, if it's a past person, may have dated uh, like a serial dater, like crazy, constantly always has to have someone. They may have had that energy about them, um, but it feels like this person is cutting that addiction, cutting that habit, whatever it might be. Anything that was holding this person back from having some type of, type of connection with you, I feel like the energy of that is shifting here over the weekend. Um, there's definitely a cutoff, like I said, with the Five of Swords, you know, cutting things off, putting an end to something here and making change. So, I mean, I think that that would be good news for some of you who are hoping for that. Overall, um, even if this isn't a past person and this is somebody new coming in, there may be a discussion or communication um, that they have battled an addiction problem in the past. Okay. Um, so this love offer proposal, you know, this person is showing up here looking for a long-term relationship for sure. And um, even if it's just an offer to get together or um, to date or to meet, I feel like there's a conversation that wants to happen here where this person um, not so much wants to reveal so much, but um, may come forward and tell you Here's the world that that chapter in their life has ended and they're ready to begin anew. So I do like that energy and because it feels like it's very healing. If that's something that you, um, it, I'm, I'm, they're giving me the word relatable. So uh, someone listening here may have struggled with similar issues or similar problems or codependent relationships in the past um, and is getting some healing in because of that. Um, I feel like kind of two people here like I see with the two of cups um, having a mutual connection but it's kind of like I don't know I just keep getting this energy that it's a little it's private it's it's like between you and this person it's very private it's not meant for other people or the world to know um, so it feels very mature like that emperor yeah here's the ace of wands so there's definitely a new a spark a new beginning a new start here an inspiration and I see growth okay yeah coming from a place of secrets and deception perhaps and maybe even lies 
Um, there's a new beginning happening here for sure. Um, the unknown being revealed, definitely. Okay, yeah, so there is a conversation. For some of you, there's an apology from someone, but the Page of Cups is definitely a conversation, I feel like, or a message of an invite of some sort. Um, somebody coming forward here, uh, maybe even talking about a child as well, or child-like behavior in the past, if this is a past person. It doesn't have to be. It could be somebody new telling you about things that they've gone through in their life, okay? So Sunday looks mostly like surrendering to bad behavior and saying and and healing that and getting away from that and you know when the ten of swords is here um that can be a card that talks about um a, a like a complete and painful ending or someone hitting rock bottom with things so now you have let go of control issues allow the situation to unfold naturally okay so for you i feel like you're going to be on the receiving end here of some things that are going to come out over the weekend some truths to get told or some clarity to very little. It starts very small, but things um, begin to make a little bit of sense to you by way of someone's approach towards you. So I feel like for you, it's just kind of like, I see you just leaving things be and allowing the universe to reveal what needs to be revealed to you over this weekend. Let me see what else is showing up here. Okay, you've got the wedding card, Virgo. So, I mean, definitely this year, for sure, there will be some kind of union or connection here. You've got also very soon a decision being made in regards to reconciliation. Okay, so for some of you, this is a past thing. And reconciliation, you know, also can mean, you know, we're opening up and we're, you know, revealing the things that are, and we're taking a tally of where we've been in our life. So, I, I you know, Virgo bloody stump coming in definitely for a lot of you um let your friends help you there may be something here for you virgo when this energy plays out that you may need to have a couple of conversations with people who are connected to you um in the form of support um what should i do how should i handle this what is the energy that's why is this happening that kind of stuff um yeah let me see what your messages of love are overall for this weekend okay so you are safe and divinely protected here virgo okay good message for you two people on different pages that's for sure yeah you and this person have um you don't really have the same vision as far as uh, i don't know i feel like you guys have different all right some of you have uh well that's weird um they're just showing me um, a difference in the two of you is that um, like one has green eyes and one has blue eyes. I, they're giving me that. All right. So what I want to say is you both don't have the same color eyes. Um, I, I, that just came to me because I just saw um, two different eye colors. And there may be one person also that has two different eye colors, like one blue, one green. I'm not sure which it is. Here you have past life love. <clears throat> For a lot of you, this is... Definitely, for the majority of you, like a, a past, uh, a reconciliation with a past lover or someone that's coming in, it feels a lot of like confessional, like a confession kind of thing. Um, you guys have had very strong um, chemistry, all right? That, that might have been, for, for both of you, how a relationship began, this very strong chemistry between the two of you, okay? and um very strong passion between the two of you but i'm just curious like this relationship might have it may have begun or may have started off with the passion and that became very addictive to this person i feel like your person i don't know if they they went to like love addicts anonymous or sex anonymous or something there's some serious things going on with this person 
that whatever they've done has completely ruined their life, r destroyed their relationships or potential relationships in the future or marriage um, or a long-term commitment that they were in possibly with you. It feels like this person is kind of fessing up or, or has put that behind them or is putting that behind them or realizing here, okay, there's second chance here. Wow, Virgo, I know a lot of you don't like to hear about the past reconciliation messages. I'm not purposely making it that way. It's coming out this way, okay? There is... An option here though for you to have a new love in your life with someone else new if you want that or a recommitment to a love situation that needed strong healing okay so Virgo it's a tough call it really is a tough call I mean I feel like for those of you the majority of this message here has a lot to do with a reconciliation over this weekend some serious um, healing some serious it in another person some serious like rec uh, recognition of you know what's going on with them and it feels mostly like some kind of an addiction interfered some kind of an addiction interfered in this relationship perhaps in the past there's a little bit of karma i keep feeling like there's a karma thing happening Oh, yeah, gossip. See, that's how the reading started. There are some people that your person was connected to. I don't know if they find out about you or they're trying to find out about your person to see if you and them are getting back together. What's going on here? This is neighbors, small talk, grapevine, other people communicating and talking to each other, trying to get some information. Your person might have been a player and they were messing around with other people. Okay. Um, and they might, your person might have just left them. They're coming either they're returning back to you to try to make things right with you and they still have these um i don't feel like they really closed the door with those other people not in like they f i don't feel like they felt like they owed them anything which you know i think it's it's nice to say sorry i'm no longer interested and but even if they did i feel like there's there's some jealousy going on <laughs> there's some jealousy there's there's some possessiveness and there's some other people who are uh, one, two, three other people who um, are really addicted to your person and they're trying to find out who they're with or why they ghosted, if they ghosted, okay, why they dropped them or why they're not communicating with them anymore. So they're, I don't know if they all know each other, they might, or they might, there's just a lot of like sneaking around and trying to get the deets, trying to get the tea. Okay, young female. Wow. Uh, your person might have um, went after uh, younger, uh, people who are younger than them. Okay, males or females. Um, huge age gap. <laughs> yeah, fun times. Oh, your person had a problem, Virgo. Seriously. Whoever your person is, they had a serious... Whew, like they got issues okay a new love new person unknown person this person i feel like your person in the past kind of like oh chasing the, the thrill ride they were a thrill seeker probably cheating this gossip card can represent the three of cups where when it's in the reverse it's again it's gossip partying overindulgence threes interference third party kind of stuff yeah i mean some of you I, listen some of you i know i hear you yeah if we look down here some of you might be in this position over the weekend where you know no i've put this behind me i don't want this relationship back here you know you juggled too much now you're showing up i needed you to be someone who was stand up and above board i needed you to be that and you were just juggling all the time and some of you are like no i can't battle your addiction you got to battle that yourself and i the, the the trust to be rebuilt after betrayal and things like that take so much effort and take a really long time so i do get a sense that some of you um this might be your energy here too where you know you might not give this person a chance and you might just cut it off yourself and just keep it moving i understand that yeah quick short term quick fling endings time okay 
Yeah, I feel like that energy, all this energy is just playing out here over the weekend where it's like your person and like you might be coming to realize for yourself that this was just a short term thing and it just needed to end and you invested a lot of time and energy and it really didn't go the way you wanted it to go. Um, maybe you found out they were juggling. Uh, I do feel like this person is coming in, you know, and they are surrendering to these problems but you know good for them if they're getting that healing but it may not be good for you if you know you just don't you sometimes it's much easier to just meet somebody new and start over but if your heart's attached and you're praying for this person and you want you know you're hoping that they're going to come in and you know get it together i feel like you some of you may want to give it give them a chance okay but i'm not predicting whether you will or you won't i feel like it really just depends Okay, you've got brunette female, darker hair, intense and focused. This might be you, or it could be your person. Let's see what else. Other qualifiers for Virgo. Okay, ice queen. <laughs> Some of you could be you. You're a divorcee, a mother. Um, you're very discerning. Could be a father as well but cold you, you get a little coldness to you at times wow a bunch of cards flew out all right let's take these okay no let's be friends um okay friendship beauty queen passion and a young male so some of you um Some of you are very focused on your friendships at this time, definitely. And you may tell this person, no, we'll just be friends. Uh, don't want anything romantic with you, okay? Because you're always chasing after, you know, people who are good looking and beauty queen. You can't trust it. <laughs> Even though the chemistry with this person is very strong, I feel like you're resisting. Okay, could be a young male as well. Um, that your person was always chasing younger younger people um or you might be a young male yourself and just kind of in this position of like no you just don't want that back being really young and getting your heart broken is is crucial because it, it's it really changes when you're very young and you get your heart broken like when you just get out there and start dating like say in your you know even like your first heartbreak at 16 even um as a young male and then uh, say another at 20 and then another at 25 it, it it really changes your brain waves in a lot of ways there might be a lot of healing that you if you are a young male um ex or if you're a male who experienced that when you were young um there might be a trust issue especially um trusting either the opposite sex or whatever you're interested in whoever you're interested in i, I you know virgo i, I just kind of feel like some of you have been through so much that you just don't want to invest anymore. Um, you're becoming very discerning as well. Uh, some of you are not chasing the looks anymore. You're not looking at that. You're not chasing the passion anymore. Some of you are getting yourselves in positions to, you know, try to establish a friendship bond with someone first and see if there's even any compatibility. So I feel like there's a, a growth process that's definitely happened for you, but there is a love offer coming in here, okay? And if it's not with a past person, definitely with a twin flame, if that's your past person. If not, it could be somebody new who's coming in, who, you know, basically shows up and says, you know, I've had my life lessons. I've learned. I have, I'm picking up Virgo and Aries connection here also, but, somebody coming in and saying you know i was that young person who was chasing skirt i was a skirt chaser or i was chasing after you know the gq models and i was just looking in all the wrong places and i've cut that i've learned okay and so it's going to be a little bit of both for some of you you will have a reconciliation opportunity that shows up here to heal something but you also do have um new love opportunity as well Okay, um, I'm just going to leave your messages there. Wait, let me just, no, they just said get the Chinese signs. Okay, and I want to do this for you, Virgo. I want to see, this is your Chinese sign, what your Chinese sign is. 
Okay, we're starting with the rat. Year of the snake. All right, we'll just pull them. Year of the rabbit. Year of the dog. Year of the ox. Year of the goat. Year of the horse. Okay, and year of the monkey. That could be you, Virgo. You might be here somewhere. Um, yeah, let me just get a couple of charms before I end out your weekend reading. I'm not taking those because they just showed up yesterday. I must not have put them back in correctly. Okay, a couple of charms here. All right, so beautiful moon with a star. Quarter, a quarter moon, a wedge moon with a star. Let me show it to you. This feels like a logo to me. It feels like some kind of a logo. Do you see it? Um, I'm just hearing someone say, I will give you the moon and the stars. All right, and here's another star as well. I will give you, I will bring you the moon and the stars. I, whoever this person is coming in, I do feel like there's a real, I'll do anything kind of energy. I'm surrendering. I'll do anything to have this relationship, to heal it, to fix it. Whatever you want me to do, just name it. Just say it. I'm your servant. I'll do whatever it is that you you need from me. Um, because when someone's hitting rock bottom, um, that means that they're ready. They're ready to, to start over. I also have a seat. Um, no, I'm sorry. Rocking horse. A blue unicorn rocking horse. There's a birthday party coming up. Um, for a, a little boy, perhaps over this weekend, you might be attending a birthday party, um, for a child. It feels like a little boy could be a little girl who likes blue. Um, but it's a child's birthday party. It could also be a baby shower, um, over this weekend. If that resonates for you, definitely, um, take that into consideration. And again, with this, now they're just saying this white star. Um, okay. They're telling me on star on star what is that on star could have something to do with like a vehicle or a car um on star some kind of tracking device right is that what that is is that what on star is i don't know i don't know really anything about that I, I just hear the term and i've heard of that before but i don't really know too much about what that means so if that re relates to you in some way on star and i'm also hearing on point <laughs> on point okay i'm gonna leave your reading there for your weekend i hope that that gave you some enlightenment of some sort um again if you want to get a personal reading with me there's a link in the description box below i do hope you guys have a fantastic weekend don't forget you can follow me on facebook um, the link is also below and uh yeah i will see you all back here sunday evening for your singles reading all right you guys love you take care